Right folks, we're back in the garden at home today. And today's mission is to have a look at these tainties because it looks like we're getting some blight. Um, and even on the sample mirrors as well, I've seen that Dan's had an issue. Um, allotment diary as well as a few other people. And I thought ours were fine, but looking at it, they're not. So, get them out and get the foliage bagged up before anything gets too bad. Um, it's a bit disappointing actually, but never mind. Um, we're going to harvest these ones as well, and we've got a few grown amongst the flowers. Um, we'll get out what we can of them as well. Uh, and then basically, we need to just give everything a bloody good water because even though it's rained the last few days, nothing seems to be wet. So, go figure. Um, So, yeah. So we'll get set up and we'll get these sorted. Okay, so the first bucket we're going to do is another bucket of King Edwards. Okay, so that's what we've got out of that bucket. So, not terrible, not good either though. But we'll um, move on to the next bucket, so we'll be back in a sec. Right, this bucket is record. So that's them ones. Same again, nothing spectacular. To be honest, I'm not expecting anything spectacular out of these this year. Um, luckily, we've done all right up the allotment. So, but we'll keep going. Move on to the next pot. All right, this one is a pot of Des Reason. Right, there we go. Desri's again, disappointing. Like I said, I'm not expecting anything spectacular, I think, now. It's uh, not a good year for Titties in Pots, but we'll keep going. Right, another road, Desri. Right, that pot was really bad. There was quite a few had rotted in it. Um, but, never mind. I would definitely say that's blight then. So. Okay, so what I've done, just to show you is, because I felt a spot of rain before, I've just gone and pulled all the tops off. Um, so I can get that disposed of ASAP and if necessary the titties will be fine just sitting in the pots underneath the soil I'll just pull whatever's lifted off the top um, but we'll crack on with the next pot which is another pot of Desiree and there we go another disappointing thing of Desiree but at least they're a bit better size in that pot so we'll get this lot shifted move on to the next pot. Right, this pot is Sarpo Mira, so let's see what these are like. <coughs> right, there we go, so Sarpo is I would say I've done ever so slightly better than any other pot up to now, but still not fantastic. 
Right, right, we'll get these shifted. I think we'll do pink furs next. Okay, so pink furs. If you remember, I pulled one a month or so ago. It was absolutely horrendous. So let's see if it's any better now. Right, there we go. Right, there we go. Pink furs have surprisingly done reasonably well. They're not known to be a heavy cropper. Um, but we've definitely got some odd shaped ones, so look out for some pictures going up on Instagram later. Uh, <laughs> but I tell you what, these are probably the ugliest, tastiest potato you'll ever eat. So, very good. We'll do the, the next pot as well. And the second pot of pink furs. There we go, pretty good with the pink furs again. So I think the next one we'll do international kidney. Okay, so these ones when I've lifted the tops, we've lifted quite a few out. So hopefully that's a good sign there might be a few in the pot, but let's find out. Okay, so they're not bad. Um, quite a bit of scab on them, but they'll just get used for mash or chips. I say scab's just called cosmetic. Um, so right, let's get the second bucket done. Right, here we go, let's see what they're like. Not too bad, a bit scabby, but that's nothing too major. Right. Right, these ones are Charlotte. got a winner with that one folks, the Charlotte, absolutely brilliant, um, I'm not sure if we've got any more of them but let's find out. So we've got a couple of little pots of Charlotte, so let's see what we've got out of these. Right, there we go, not fantastic out them little pots, I don't think we'll bother with them again next year. Um, but right, we'll get cleared up and move on to the last of the pots, which are Sopo Mira. A couple of pots to record and a small pot of King Eddie's. Okay, so we'll do the two little pots of record first. Let's get the camera in a better place. Barely a handful. Right, get this lot shifted and then Sarpo Mira next. Okay, so we've got the four pots of Sarpo's left. So I'm just going to empty all four and then we'll um, have a look at the end and see how much we've got.
out of five 40 litre buckets, we have got one 15 litre bucket full of, mm, I'm saying 15, more like 10, 12, of potatoes. Um, so that's all that we've got. Not great, but never mind. We got hit by blight, so they haven't had as long as they should as well. So, um, so we'll get these pots shifted, and then we'll make a start on clearing all this up. bagged up ready to go to the skip um, all I need to do now is sweep up and put stuff away um, so that's it for this one folks all the blight ridden teddy sorted so I'll catch you in the next one